New developments in the investigation of classified documents found at President Biden's home. We have learned the Justice Department considered sending agents to seize those papers. But investigators say cooperation from the White House led them to decide against it. We are getting legal analysis of that decision. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy live now with the White House with what he's learned today. Ben. Calvin Nicole, a legal analyst we spoke to, says it was a bit unusual for the DOJ not to take part in this search, but it was due in part to the White House fully cooperating with this investigation. New details about the investigation into classified documents found at President Biden's former office and home from his time as VP after news broke that the Department of Justice considered sending FBI agents to monitor the search for classified material. And because the White House is fully cooperating with the government, the DOJ decided to stand down and allow Biden's team to conduct the search, ABC News reports. As legal analyst David Weinstein tells Local 10 that... It seems a bit odd that intelligence agencies or law enforcement agencies wouldn't want to be the people who were actually there while the search was taking place. You're dealing with a small number of documents. Everything appears to have been turned over. But I will agree, having said all of that, it is a bit unusual given that you're dealing with classified documents. Roughly 20 documents with classified markings have been found at the two locations as the White House faced more questions on the matter Wednesday. I'm going to keep it really short today as it relates to this particular issue, as it relates to an ongoing uh, legal matter. I am going to refer you to Department of, Just, uh, Department of Justice. And so far, no update from the DOJ this afternoon and special counsel Robert Hur, who took over this investigation about a week ago. That is the latest here live at the White House. Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Okay, Ben, thanks.